if he's touching me like this, he's just doing me somehow. And even though he, he wants to climb me, the face of my ex appear and I'm still seeing him. You don't respond to him if I he's don't, touching you. I don't at all. So anytime he they he they knock me like this, you know me person just they like stick. He just they knock. Now he go they knock. Now he go they knock. I'll just stay there. I know they even they feel maybe anybody they do anything. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Nene, baby. So, guys, today I have this lady here. She says she has something she wants to narrate to my audience that this thing has been bothering her since. She wants to, you know, now she wants to speak out so people can advise her. So, guys, please, let's listen and hear her. Okay, please don't mention your name. Just go straight and tell my audience the reason why you contacted me. No, now I don't know. Um, I'm seriously in a big trouble and in a big seriously i'm seriously in a big trouble and i'm passing through a lot right now that i don't know how to pull my hand or control myself into it so um i i have a guy that was dating before uh before i got this virgin so this guy that was this guy i'm talking about say eh? This guy I'm talking about, he has always been there. We have been together, do things together. He has, in fact, to the extent of his planning to get married to me. But after two months that he was supposed to get um, go and pay for my bride, he passed out. This guy has been there for me to the extent I, I have put all my hope, loved him the way the way even more than a way a woman should love a man i have i've just put on my because he's always there for me he's always there for me you say he has passed on you lost him yes he has passed on this is making it one year now so i this this my, my boy my ex-boyfriend i'm talking about he was the one that is virgin me he was the one that makes me know how to feel this thing whether they call knocking Na na he make me sabi this thing. I don't even I don't have the experience of anything called love. It was just the little he taught me. I I I, I just still hold that one. So it was when he passed out the before he before he was supposed to come and pay for my bride pay pay my bride price before the two months he passed out. This making it one year like I said he passed out. So I met um after I passed out, I was not like, I was just so frustrated, weak in me. In fact, I've, I, I've just made it up in mind. I don't even think of getting married to see how much I love him. To the extent of if I am, if I'm inside the room alone like this, I just feel as if I'm seeing his spirit. That we are talking or we are we are just gisting, talking the way we do talk when he was alive. So I've gets used to him to the extent his spirit, I, I just feel as if I'm talking to him. Or if I'm sleeping in my dream, I still see him. So it was not my mom that was not like ah, she pushed, she just tried her best to make me come off, come off this this guy. Let me just forget about him. I tried my best, but it's as if my best is not enough. So my mom just forced me into a marriage. Another marriage? Okay. No, uh, no I didn't get married to the guy. You. Okay, did not get married uh, to He was you. supposed to get married to okay, me. Okay. Then he died the, along the line. before the, it, was, it, it was two months before he was supposed to go and pay for my bride price. So he died. So it was not my mom that not like she just forced me in a marriage. That let me, instead of me just killing myself inside, let me just at least stay in a marriage then let me then let me the, the, she, she has just been disturbing me of having grandchildren she wants children she wants grandchildren so i just have to close my eye and just do it but it didn't come from my my i just have to do it because of her because i never even planned that i want to get married again in my life because this my ex has always been it's just his love is very strong that what what would make me think of any man again <sighs> so I got married to this man my mom told me that I should get married to. Since when I get married, I got married to this man. <laughs> it was it was as if I don't even know how to put it. If 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 it's if it's maybe God wants to use it and punish me, or maybe I just come to this life to suffer. 
I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking that maybe if I should enter the thing with you, maybe it, it will even make me forget some things about that my ex. But I enter this marriage, this man has been frustrating my life. He has been frustrating my life to the extent of he never made me rest for once. He's always abusing me on top of on top of we having this knocking inside room. So I whenever we are together in the room, it's very, very hard for me. If he's touching me like this, he's just doing me somehow. And even though he, he wants to climb me, the face of my ex appear and I'm still seeing him. You don't respond to him if I he's don't, touching you. I don't at all. So anytime he they he they knock me like this, you know my person just they like stick. He just they knock. Now you go they knock, now you go they knock. I'll just they there. I know they even they feel maybe anybody they do anything because the thing self, you know. You know, the, I, I'm not you, you put all your mind in your head. Yes, I put, I, I, in fact, all my mind was on him. And I'm not even, I'm not the kind of a sex type because he was the one that is vegging me. So I'm not, I'm not good in all this knocking, knocking. I'm not, I'm not even interested or anything about that. Even like you are not enjoying it with at him. At all. So this man, this is my husband, since when he has been because of this challenge, this thing he has been passing through from me, he do insult me, called me different kinds of names that I am not good on bed. I am not. I don't even know how to uh, handle a man on bed. I, if, if he's knocking me, I don't give him some kind of romantic name. Say some kind of romantic thing, romantic things, or just be, to be screaming. Or I will just stand. I will just stand on there. I will just stay on the bed, stick like stick. So he said a lot of things to the extent of I just have think and think and say, what will I do to satisfy this, my husband? So one day I just decided that, okay, fine. I don't want my husband to go and be cheating outside. And even though he go and cheat outside, it's, I, I, I won't even feel it because my mind is still not in his side at all. My mind was not there. So I was just like, because of my mom, because I told my mom about it, so she was like, "Ah, no, I must not leave. If if anything should happen to my marriage, that this, that, that she won't be happy if I should leave, and she don't want to even hear that I leave the marriage. So she said that I must look for a way to satisfy. I said my husband will not go and look outside. So she, it was now one of my friend that now took me when I told my friend about it to one of my friend. Okay. She was not the one that took me out. We went to one baba. It was this baba that was the one that do. He just do one work for me. The you know all this native stuff. He just did it and gave me one, gave me one small bottle like this and the thing. He said whenever I want to take it, like you just put it in my drink. Let me just take it and drink it so that we see that I'll, I'll be feeling much of this. Make the thing just they do me say my day for ah. I was thinking the thing it was not going to work because me I. I just feel like let me just do it for the sake of I don't want to lose that marriage my mom said I should not lose. Let me just do it. I didn't put I didn't put my faith on it because my mind was not there. I didn't even put my faith on it. So I tried it, I do it, I just take it the way the man said I should do it. My husband came back from work. The moment he came back from work. He was surprised to meet me in the position of I was feeling this hodge of the way my body they do me. Okay, the thing really worked on you. It worked, oh, it worked because it was when I came back and even that I used that. So it's not quite too long. Around that uh, eleven, he came back from work. The thing, even before he came back, I've just been feeling because the thing started working from around that. Um, just in the next twenty minutes, so I started feeling this urge of making just the make in fact before income i don't they masturbate myself don't they do some kind of things where we say when income comes i don't even make and rest at all now me go they seduce my husband my husband was shocked to see me in that position in fact he looks me twice like is this his wife or someone else i'll be another spirit don't enter a wife i just to shut his mouth i just try and just start having anything i want so i just start doing the thing was just there we do it to the extent of we do it more than to, to, today break we don't sleep 
we knock till they break we no sleep like, oh, this thing work on you the thing over work to the extent naim naim run come up for for room for me your husband run come up for room ah he run come up so tell me i go to find out where he did the thing really do me eh that baba medicine where he give me he work so this thing the next day when i was like trying to get my husband to know where he is because i slept off be between where i was masturbating myself after we had sex because it was around five he left me when he said that the thing is too much and he was the one that i've always been saying he saw him he's calling me sign different kind of names that ah, i don't do this i don't do that now i am this what he wants why is he running away from me so i now decided that okay in the morning around that five I now woke up and I now tried to get him. As I saw him again, the hugging just started again. So I was not like, I tried controlling myself, but it was very difficult. He, he quickly left the house. He didn't even eat. He didn't take the breakfast that I prepared for him. Your husband ran out of the house. He left the house. This thing has not been disturbing me for like, for like two weeks since when I've done this thing. So it was now when my husband has not been complaining about it that ah, this is getting too much what is going on with that the thing is getting too uh, much on you that he's getting too much that i keep disturbing him to the extent of the night that we're supposed to knock safe you know you know green make he's running away from in, knocking he now didn't even, this thing this thing turned to a very big thing in my family right my marriage right right now as i'm speaking my husband is saying that i'm cheating outside and i try explaining to him because he keeps telling me that uh, the what makes me know how to me that I don't know how to how to knock I don't know how to do this that uh, it's maybe that is because of I'm cheating now so I'm having someone else so it's from there that I'm learning all this okay okay so your husband is not telling you uh, that was, you are cheating on him as in that's, that's where you learned all mm, the things you are doing as in that's what he's telling me so I don't know you didn't tell your husband you went to Baba that gave I you was something. scared I was scared to tell him because if you should find out hmm, my marriage is gone my marriage is over so i don't know i don't know what to do i does I, I didn't even tell him anything but till now he keeps challenge he keeps threatening me telling me that he has to even find out that person that that man that has been that has been cheating on him okay he said he wants to find out the yeah, man that he wants to yes he wants to but find are out. you cheating on him i'm husband. not cheating on him it's just was, that thing that baba gave to you that is all see you have to stop taking the t the stuff baba gave to you since mm. the thing is making you to feel like knocking all the time mm. yes now because your husband said that was complaining is now running away from you see I How have, can you knock from money to daybreak? You know I, the tire. Hmm, I have I have even stopped the tin. But now the tin is addicted to me. Now. Okay, you have stopped it, but it's, it's still not, in you. Yes, it's still in me. I've tried all my best. Even I even went to the Baba again to tell him that I want to stop. My husband is complaining about it. The man the Baba said there is nothing to sort out, there is nothing to do about it. So that's the reason why I came. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Even right now as I'm talking to you, I'm just feeling this hurt. I'm just holding myself. I don't know what to do. My husband, I don't want my marriage to... Go and carry your Bible. No, they feel any urge again. Your husband is running away from you. You see the feel urge. Oh. Hey, guys. Guys, please, drop your opinion on the comment section. When I don't hear her story now, no be my ear pass on her own. Tis the apple, no. Now, wow. Okay, guys, please, thanks for watching this video.